Following the riots of the spring of 2020, the historic African-American Local 1332 of Painters District Council 14 organized a cleanup in one Chicago neighborhood. We are at Lawndale Plaza in the heart of North Lawndale in the 24th Ward. Uh, and today we organized the cleanup, uh, one, to clean up the ward, uh, two, to lift people's spirit, uh, but three, and most importantly, to bring awareness to what's going on in our country and our city. Good to see so many, so many people out here. What started out as 20 or so painters volunteering to spruce up a strip mall damage during the riots turned into something a whole lot bigger. I was so humbled and amazed by all the people who showed up. There is a great spirit within the neighborhoods that they are not simply just rioters or looters, but they are loving children of God that desire justice and peace. We've had trade unions, we've had churches, nonprofit organizations, individuals that just represented themselves, all coming together. The union always belongs to the community and labor. That goes together. You can never break them apart. So we are here to let the community know that labor is strong and we're still here to support them and their needs. To have the Painters uh, Union with us, absolutely phenomenal. Everybody out here desired peace. Everybody out here desired to show love. And that's why celebrating their 100th anniversary, the painters from Local 1332 and over 1,500 volunteers hit the streets of North Lawndale in a day of service, cleaning up the community. Various uh, trades got together and were cl cleaning up the neighborhood and cleaning up the churches to help the community. And I want to give a, a special shout out to uh, 1332 who, who organized and helped the, the painters get out here and do what they do. Not only do DC 14, the local 1332, and the Finishing Contractors Association of Chicago donate to big events, throughout the year, they continue to give back to vital community hubs. This is uh, the JLM Community Center that bears my name. This is uh, East Garfield. East Garfield on the west side of Chicago. It's uh, what I really call a hub on the west side. So we built this from the ground, involving uh, peoples of the community. Basketball was really a luring in something everybody could identify with. Not just a uh, church, but a center in the community that the community can get help. A feeding program consistently, having food to take home, giving out uh, back to school uh, materials and so bringing together opportunity for people in the community. Any place that's as active as the JLM Community Center needs periodic upkeep. Sadly, the funds to do so aren't so easy to come by. That's where DC 14 and the Finishing Contractors Association of Chicago come in. The pastor reached out to us to see if we can give him a hand and see if we can uh, clean up the place for him. I was kind of, you know, bombarded on how to pay the bills. And I said, sure, no problem. We'll be glad to give them a hand. The painters are painting the entire building. It's three floors here. The materials are coming from Finish in Chicago. DC 14 Apprenticeship Program is doing all the work. So the other people who are not in the union know what we stand for and how we try to help and get involved with different community events. The apprentices volunteer as they're in school. This is part of their training. So the experience they're getting from these are hands-on. Usually when these apprentices are at work, they're doing a lot of the grunt work. They're doing a lot of the, you know, heavy lifting for everybody. And, you know, they come out here, they work hard, get to see it when it's complete. And it gives our apprentices opportunity to get more knowledge and skill out in the field. You have to spend time and teach them how to do the things correctly. And, there's not a lot of time on the bigger job sites to, to spend that with them and, and kind of teach them, so it works out well for both of us. It changes the appearance from walls that have been touched or dirty or nicks or dings in the wall where we prep, patch, sand, prime, get everything so it's looking great. New paint job, it's almost like a new building. And once they see it, they think they have a, a whole new facility. You talk about the virus, so hands on the wall, things that were left, all of that is out. They'll come back brand new. They really appreciate something different, something new. Thank you, a big thank you, and God bless you, because in the midst of this uh, virus, they still willing to come on here to uh, work, who willing to give back. 
So I see even this as a part of a healing process to make a community better.